is up you guys so today's wig is from Ally Grace this is their barcode if you have a barcode re reader then go ahead and use that this is all their um, social medias and this hair is a blonde 16 inch straight hair this is what she looking like and whatever real straight and whatever but we don't we don't just plop the wig on our head we, we wash it so we gon we gonna do that first so first of all this is what the front of the lace is looking like and this is what the underside is looking like you got a good amount of parting space there you get a pair of lashes and you get this little what do you call this a pamphlet or a brochure whatever it's called you get one of these it just shows you how to maintain the hair um it shows you how you could like win some coins and whatever so i originally wanted to do like a rainbow style in the front and i i i wasn't able to get hair dye so i was trying to do it with crepe paper um i saw this tutorial on YouTube on how to dye your hair with crepe, crepe paper. I don't think this was crepe paper, but um, it kind of worked. But at the same time, yeah, I don't think this was this was crepe paper. So the colors weren't as strong. The only colors that were good enough to use was the red and the um the purple. So I put some glass cups in a basin and I put some hot water in. And I just crush the papers up and stick them in there and let them sit for a couple minutes. Um, so yeah, as I said, the only two colors that were good out of the whole bunch was the red and the purple. So I went ahead and used that. So I just parted out a good amount of hair in the front of my wig and I just pinned the rest of it back. So I tried to brush it on, but... It wasn't working so I just decided to do the dip method y'all I recommend just just save your coins and get you some hair dye because this this is not it maybe it didn't work because it's not crepe paper but yeah just save your coins and get you some um, hair dye if you want to get like a pastel type color then go ahead and use the crepe paper but yeah, I recommend you just get some hair dye. So, when I was trying to like do my makeup and stuff to prepare the um the wig to do the video, I spilled tea all over it, so I had to wash it out and do it all over again. So, that is why it's more of like a pink color instead of being like a pink and purple. So, yeah, sorry about that. So I just brushed some foundation on the underside of this, just so the lace could like match my skin tone because the white lace ain't it at all. So how I glue that. How I glue my hair down, I just put some got to be glued on. If you're gonna be active, like you're gonna be sweating and stuff, I don't recommend you use this because as soon as this gets wet, it's gonna start to lift off. So I just let it sit there until it turns clear then now I'm just putting the wig on and brushing those three hairs back because I'm gonna tie it down just so it could you know dry and set in place and whatever so I'm gonna be working on the rest of the hair so I did the left side already so it's time to do the right side I'm using a blow dryer to um, help straighten it out a bit this blow dryer I've been using for the longest while it's from Panasonic and I'm using some of this oil from L'Oreal. It's called El Cib, El Cib, El Cib, whatever, I don't know. But um, yeah, it just makes the hair really um, like feel like silk pretty much. So I'm just putting some curls in. I don't know what you call these curls, candy curls, I don't know. But uh, yeah, and I'm using a flat iron. I don't have a curling iron here. <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of annoying to do with a, with a flat iron, but it's possible. You can curl your hair with um, a flat iron. So this is what she's looking like. I don't really 
like the candy curl type thing so I'm just brushing it out if you like the candy curls you can always flick it back in <laughs> but um yeah I'm just brushing it out with my ruler brush and this is what the lace is looking like eh? so I'm brushing the hair back so I don't cut it off and it's laying really nice and whatever but you know if you're doing this at a salon look at that look at that but yeah if you're doing this at a salon it will look a lot better but um because my hair grows a little further out i was kind of scared that i would cut my hair off so uh, i took the longest while to do that but the lace is beautiful regardless so i'm taking some hairs out in random places to do the baby hairs and I'm cutting about an inch of it off y'all I hate doing baby hairs I suck at doing this so bad so it took me a long ass while I'm not gonna lie This is what the end product is like with dyeing my hair with crepe paper. It's more of like a pastel color, like very light. So that's why I said if you want to um, do like a more pastel color, even when I turn the exposure down, it still looks very light. So yeah, if you want to do like a very pastel light color and you're not too too familiar with using hair dye then I recommend you keep, you could just practice with crepe paper just get good quality crepe paper I guess so uh, yeah I'm really loving it um, I did a little poll on Instagram about what hair um, color I should do it wasn't about this wig but um, one person said I don't think the pink would look that flattering and I'm like girl girl <laughs> look at me look at me what's not flattering what's not what what, what 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 you talking about i'm looking like Willy wonka's long lost cousin how you doing like says i look like i work for victoria's secret for their cotton candy collection they don't i don't think they have a collection called cotton candy but i'm just saying so I finally found me some hair dye in a store um, called Don Quixote here in Japan. It is like a pink color treatment, so you can it's it like it's it's dye for your hair, but it kind of has some like good ingredients in it, like stuff that's good for your hair. Listen, I'm bad at explaining stuff. It's not gonna damage your hair, okay? And this hair dye smells really, really nice. Um, it's it's really nice to work with because it's not like runny. So you could just squeeze it on the brush like a toothpaste method and just brush it on the hair. Or you could make it look like poop, like I did right here and just spray it out. <laughs> sound too cocky but listen my confidence is all the way up there um I think I look damn good in any color and any damn thing that I wear so <laughs> bow down to the queen hey so because I promised myself that I was trying to be less boring I wanted to put some style some style in my wigs like some braids some ponytails some something anything so I'm putting in some curls right now and I'm pretty much doing the same style like before but 
you know, I colored the hair a lot brighter. So I'm in love with it. When it mixed in with the um, blonde, it looks like a really nice, what do you call those candy, like candy cane? Yeah, it looks like a pink candy cane when the pink and white is like swirled together. Beautiful! So right now I'm just attempting to do this. I don't know what you call this. I, I really don't know. Just watch, y'all. so enough of my shenanigans this video was fun to do this is my first time doing this type of color I guess but just you know the one color in the front I'm definitely gonna try a lot more so I took the ponytail out and it gave it a really nice volume for like the side bangs so yeah like I said this was fun everything you need to know about this wig will be in the description down below and I'm gonna show you the edges once again. You know, this is how I love to do my edges. I don't like to slick it back. This way is a lot more natural and flattering to me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!